Hi, I'm Garrett Richards, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a proper pick off to first and second base, as well as my advice on how to control the running game. First off, controlling the running game is huge. It can go from being a double play situation to being a guy in scoring position. This is crucial because games are won and lost on, on this aspect alone. So for me, I'm going to show you how to pick off to first. I come set on the third base side of the rubber. So for me, I like to keep the ball in my hand, just so if I have to make a quick throw to first, I can. Some guys set up with the ball in their glove, which basically means that the runner can get off as much as he wants because you're not going to pick off before you come set. So for me, the ball stays behind my backside, and I'm always constantly taking a peek at the runner to make sure he stays where he's at. So for me, when I come set, I come set with my hands in the same position every single time. If you vary each time, or if your feet aren't evenly spaced every single time the exact same way, people in the big leagues will pick that up and they'll expose you on it. So for me, I come set with my hands in the same spot every time, keeping my head and my chin level. You don't want your head or your eyes like this. So for me, come set with my head level, feet shoulder width apart, load on the back side, just, as, just the same as if I were to deliver a pitch. Hands come set, take a peek, pick off the first. Now what you're going to want to do to be successful in this is you're going to want to basically replace the back foot. So it's almost a shoulder turn right there. Some guys will step off and try and throw over there. It's not going to work. I'll demonstrate it one more time. Replacing the feet, just simply shifting. You can also do two different kinds of pickoffs. You can make one your really good move and one a subpar move just to deke the runner. So you come set, and it may not be your best, but it's still gonna get the job done. Slow, but accurate. And then you can show them your really good one. Just like that. You can pick on your own at any time. Even a deke move such as this one will still get the message across. Simply a fake pick without a throw, still keep the, the runner aware and close to the bag, which will prevent his jump from first to second, which will decrease his value or decrease his success as far as stealing second base. That's my pro tip on how to keep control the running game to first base. Let's move on to second. Okay, moving on from first base to second base. Runners are in scoring position, so to, hold the, to control the running game at this point is very important. Come set, same thing as at first base, same normal load as if you were to throw a pitch, same hands in the same position, but as far as your glove goes, you don't want it like this, because guys will tip pitches at second base. So for me, I have it cocked slightly in to where it makes it hard for that runner at second base to see what I'm throwing. Same position as first base, and then all you're gonna do is replace the right foot with the left foot. So virtually like that, if you were just to switch them. So you come set normal. Just like that. Quick but under control. If for some reason your legs don't clear, you're gonna cut your hips off and this is not gonna be good. One more time. Now I'm going to show you how to do an inside move. Same thing as before. Check the runner. Now when you lift your leg, you're going to make it seem like it's going to be a pitch to the plate. So make everything as similar as possible as far as
So, yeah. So you're going to want to make your leg lift the same as if you were to deliver a pitch to the plate. But you're going to have to pivot to turn to second. So while staying under control, you're going to lift the leg, set it back down, You're going to want your hips to be in a good position. Your hips must clear. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to be consistent out in front, and the ball is not going to be there. So one time in fast motion. That's my pro tip on how to pick people off at first and second base. I'll see you out at the ballpark.